Yo, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to show you how to make some content in Drupal 7. Uh, I've gone ahead and I went back to Bartik for our theme. I figured that since not everybody's going to be staring at the same theme, it might be nice to have something where everybody can look at and it's the exact same. So using Bartik, which is the theme that comes as the base on Drupal 7, we are going to create a piece of content. And now if you change your theme and you go back and forth and whatever, it's actually not going to change your content at all, so don't worry about that. Uh, it's just going to affect the way it, it, it looks. So if you'll notice here in the in the Drupal admin bar, there's an add content button. Another way to do it is to go to content and then click this add content here. Either one of those will take you to the same exact place. And in here, it's going to give us a choice between an article and a basic page. An article is something like blog post, where a basic page is an entire page. So Drupal doesn't really distinguish those too much, uh, too differently, other than they're both nodes, and a node is a piece of content that exists on your site. Think of a node like a page or just a block of content. So we're going to create a basic page. So here, it's going to ask for the title. Um, this is going to be a page that I'm going to make called about and this is just going to be about me um, this page is about me period okay so you can put in whatever you want here this is your body text in the next couple of tutorials we're going to show you how to have more than just a title and a body but however the basic page initial offering is just title and body and also you'll notice this is just a blank text area It'll take filtered HTML, full HTML, or plain text. We're going to use filtered HTML for now. Um, in later tutorials, we'll show you how to install a WYSIWYG, and that uh, stands for what you see is what you get if you don't know. And that puts a top bar up here that's sort of like uh, Microsoft Word or a Google Docs thing um, that if you have content editors that aren't web developers, uh, they'll feel much more at home editing content, you know, transforming text with the WYSIWYG than they will in just a plain text area. Well, they'll have to write something, you know, in HTML if they need it. So we're going to go down here, and these are the basic options that are included. So it's going to ask if we want to provide a menu link. Uh, because this is an about page, we're going to have this in our main navigation. I want to say yes. So click that. You can choose your about link title. We're going to leave it as about. I don't, you know, I don't need a description. Well, we'll just say about me. Nice and easy. Uh, we're going to add this to the main menu. If you notice our home, our main link is already in there, so we'll click main menu. And its weight, we'll set that to be three because I don't want it to be at the very top of the list. I don't want it to be at the bottom. You know, we can adjust weights later. The larger the number, the further down the list it is. And negatives, we'll put it higher up the list. Okay. Revision settings. We're not going to be creating a new revision. If you wanted to, you would check this. You can leave a log message in here. We're just going to have this published straight away. So in URL path aliases, uh, we'll set this up in a little bit. Right now, we're just not going to worry about the alias. Because this is an About Me page, I don't want people commenting on it. Uh, as you can see, the default on uh, Drupal basic pages is set to closed. Uh, if you go to articles, the basic setting will be set to open, but for now we're just going to leave this closed. We don't want anybody commenting. Author information is admin, authored on, okay. You don't typically need to touch these things because they will be generated automatically. If that's what you want or if you want to change it, you can. And publishing options. These offer published, promoted to the front page, or sticky at the top of the list. So these all sort of do what they sound like. Published, if your content is not published, people uh, who are not administrative users will not be able to access your content, and therefore it pretty much doesn't exist to anybody. However, it does stay in your site under this find content. You'll be able to see it there where you can publish it later. However, if it's not clicked to publish, people won't see it. Promoted to the front page, this promotes something to the front page main content. Um, we're actually going to be getting rid of that page, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, promoted to the front page is used a lot of times if you're creating a view, and uh, a view is a way of displaying content. And so promoted to the front page might uh, let you select specific pieces of content to be shown in any given circumstance, whether it's on the front page or just promoted. Sticky at the top of the list, 
uh, basically keep something at the top. If there's a you have a list of content, you want to bring in a bunch, but there's one piece you always want to be at the top. Uh, that's your option here. So these are the basic options here. We're going to click Save. If you wanted to, you could click Preview as well, and it would bring up that. Um, as you can see here, here's our About page. Because we added it to the main navigation, you can see it's right next to Home in our navigation up top. You'll also notice that the page title is here, View and Edit buttons, and then the page's body content. By default, this page title is always going to get displayed above the body content or the node. This is a page, and this content right here is the node. In more advanced tutorials, we'll go over template files and PHP files where you can change these things um, and change the way to display. And if you wanted to put the title inside of the node or something, or uh, do some more advanced features. Um, but for the most part, we're going to be able to accomplish everything we need uh, with Bit Drupal's basic built in functionality as is. So this is your first page in Drupal. You can navigate back to home and you'll see you're at home. Click about and here's your about page. Uh, these view and edits will go away if it's somebody that's not logged in. So let's copy this address and go to incognito user where nobody's logged in. As you can see about no view and edit. Uh, the site will look much different. I recommend you know having an incognito or just a logged out version in another browser where you can test the site and see what it looks like to anonymous users on your site. Well, that's how to create a basic page in Drupal 7. In the next tutorial, we're going to go over creating an article and what that does. Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know, uh, leave a comment, or hit us up on Twitter or Level Up Tuts. Thanks for watching.